Hi guys, I just want to quickly show you the dress that I've done yesterday. It literally only took me 10 minutes. So let me just quickly show you now. So here's the plan. Lay your textile flat on the ground. Fold it into half. And then on the edges, make sure that they're aligned. There you can cut a semicircle. This semicircle will serve as the armhole. And this is where you're going to connect the ribbons. This bit is optional. If you want round edges, you can cut this like this. If not, you can leave it the way it is. Let's go to the materials. That's all you need. Okay, so here, here we go. This is a textile. Let's just try to wrap around about around your body to make sure that it's enough. Because of course the size depends on the textile that you have and on your size as well. Mine is just about right. And then from here you measure the length of the dress. I wanted to make mine just above the knee. So I'm gonna cut cut it from here. So lay the textile flat, make sure all the edges are aligned, and then from here, as you can see, I'm going to cut the semicircle circle for the armhole. The size of the armhole also depends on how you want it so you just maybe get a t-shirt and try and see in copy the size or you can just wing it like i'm doing you can cut at the same time or like what i'm doing here because i'm not really sure if it's just right size i want I've done it separately and it's it's okay. So now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So this is how it looks. It doesn't make sense right now, I know, but this is the way it looks. Now, this part is optional. If you want a rounded edge, you can do this. And if not, you can just cut straight. I have to anyway with mine because this is a scrap textile. So the, the ends are not even. You can make this long or short as you want, up to the ankle, even if you have enough. So, that's all the cutting we need to do. It's finished. Now it's time to connect the ribbons. So, what I have here are two long LV ribbons. You just have to pin it. I'm just pinning it right now because I don't know the length of the ribbons and how I want it. I want to, you, but basically what you do is to pin all, everything again and then wrap it around your body so you know if it's the right if it's the right length of the ribbon. You can make it long, you can make it short, but for me my ribbon is long enough and I actually kept the the other ends intact because I wanted to just make a ribbon at the back because I wanted to keep it in place. So this is the way it looks. So now time to try it out and see if it's the right size. And this is the right time for you to, to adjust the ribbons. Because I'm using, um, it's an unstretchable ribbon. It's really not, you can also by the way use um, uh, one of those garter, garterized ribbons. I don't know how you call it, if you want, but I'm using this LV ribbon, so it seems okay for me. Then make sure that the ribbons are of the same size, of course. Okay. 
now this you can either sew the ribbons or you can just do a, a back stitch i'm just using a back stitch here as you can see so just to make it quicker but of course it's even better if you can just sew it so basically just done a follow the ribbons made a square just to make sure everything is in place so i'm just back stitching everything you do the same on all sides It's time to try this beach dress on. See how easy it is? So you basically just drop and crisscross the dress around your body. It's the, the nice thing about this dress is it, it, it fits any sizes. So this is the way it looks as you can see the edges and the front that's 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 optional for you you can make it straight if you want so now i just want to show you the ribbon the length of the ribbon that i kept because normally you don't have this but this this is also optional it depends on the ribbon that you have but i had i have enough the length is just enough to tie it around there you go enjoy thank you